So, Jem, how, how are you feeling about the project at this stage? Well, I'm very excited about the project because uh, I'm going to Australia. That's going to be brilliant. I'm going to be spending two weeks in Australia. A lot of it is going to be uh, hard work, though, I think. Uh, trying to negotiate all the different people in the swarm is going to be pretty difficult. But uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Quite a lot of um, kind of anticipation about the project. So I, I, it's one of those projects, you're not quite sure where, how it's going to go. Uh, if no one does anything, then, you know, it won't, it won't be a flop, but it'll, it'll definitely, uh, there's, a quite, uh, there's a huge risk involved. And I, I really, a um, little bit, and a bit tense about that, but uh, I'm sure that something will come through. What, what's been the take up of people so far? Well, I, I started advertising it probably about three or four days ago. So I set up a Facebook account called Isaiah Swarm and about three days ago. And uh, we've now got 32 likes. That's really good because today, um, Al, my friend, he, he likes the project uh, on, on Facebook. There's a, a little button called like if you, if you like the project. And if you get over 30, then all the statistics kick in. And that's, so that's going to be really good. That's going to be very good for uh, looking through the research and working out what, what posts do what and, and what happens at what particular time during the project. Surely a group of directors won't be able to make a decision between them. Isn't it a case of too many cooks spoil the broth? It, that, that is true. And, and so, so many people have said that to me. Uh, the thing is, though, that the, the internet has really democratized the way things are done. Uh, Who would have thought, for example, that um, you could find out the best book just by looking on, on uh, the, the number of stars that it are rated? I mean, when I say best book, most popular. It's only because there's a whole swarm of people saying how much they like those books that give you uh, an indication of, of what the, the quality of the books that, that they are. A lot of people go by those star ratings quite a lot. And so we're kind of integrating that kind of uh, mindset into filmmaking. And will Swarm TV continue after the conference? It will, Swarm TV will continue. Uh, I've, I've been doing about 17 projects so far and uh, there's always a stage at the, in these projects like we were talking earlier about you're not sure whether it's gonna happen or not. And uh, that I'm at that stage now, uh, but I'm, I, at the same time, I'm very positive because I, I, I've seen 17 projects come through this, this particular phase and then it's, it's gone on to actually produce some really good stuff. So <clears throat> very much looking forward to it. And like you say, it will continue afterwards. So the, 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 the clips that people put up could be remashed into a completely different film. And in my experience, actually, instead of going and producing one film at the end of this, uh, there's likely to be a number of different films. Jim McKay, thank you.